No one gives it to you. You have to take it. You are now listening to Sorel Gar 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 MD. Sorel Gar MD. What is a taste? What does taste even stand for? Taste stands for transarterial chemoembolization. All right, so it's a transarterial treatment, goes through the artery, it involves chemotherapy, which is anti-cancer, and it's a form of embolization, which is a long word that means to decrease blood flow. Transarterial chemoembolization. All right. What's the context? The context is the liver. And specifically, we're talking about liver tumors, either primary liver cancer, also known as HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma, or metastases to the liver, most commonly colorectal cancer, which is the third most common cancer in the U.S. Let's start off with the liver's blood supply. All right. The liver is a difficult organ to understand because it does so many things. All right, we know what the heart does. The heart pumps blood. But what does the liver do? It's a hard question to answer because the liver does so many things. All right. Importantly, the liver has a dual blood supply. All right. It gets blood from the hepatic artery and from the portal vein. All right. The portal vein is that vein that drains the entirety of the gut. All, right. all of the nutritious food that we eat and drink, all of that nutritious and delicious food comes straight through the gut, is processed, and then goes straight to the liver. All right. The liver processes all those nutrients, packages them, and gets them ready to be utilized by the body. The liver doesn't really depend on the hepatic artery for blood supply, all right? but that all changes when you develop a liver tumor. Liver tumors are different from the normal liver. They look different on imaging studies like MRIs and CT scans. And importantly, they have a different blood supply. In fact, tumor's blood supply is entirely derived from the hepatic artery. The hepatic artery is what supplies the liver tumor with the nutrients that it needs to survive. So what do we do? Well, we use that tumor's blood supply against itself. All right. In real life, all the time, we use information against each other. In IR, we use a liver tumor's blood supply against itself in order to kill that liver tumor. As IRs, interventional radiologists, we are experts at getting inside of those blood vessels. We make a small nick in the groin or a small slit in the wrist, and we can get dangerously close to those liver tumors by way of their arteries. When we are at that point and we have a catheter pointed directly at a liver tumor, we then fire our weapon, a potent combination of chemotherapy called doxorubicin and small embolic particles called microspheres. The chemo and the beads simultaneously hit the tumor and then take away the blood flow. It's a serious double whammy or a one-two punch hitting the tumors with intense medicine and then taking away their lifeline. We do this and cause minimal harm to the normal liver and really cause minimal harm to the body at all. We make a tiny two millimeter hole in the body to accomplish this. Does this form of treatment work? Yes. A very famous IR, famous for many reasons, demonstrated the effect of this treatment, and it's been well studied for about two decades. So I would say that TACE, transarterial chemoembolization, is a safe, well-tolerated, effective, high-value tool in the fight against cancer. So there you go. That's TACE for Dummies. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorel Gar, MD.